you move backwards, you lose the fight. If you watch any videos, if you're involved in any fights and you see your colleagues losing, you'll find that they're going backwards. And for some reason, the police teach um, a strike and move backwards. And then, you, once you're going backwards, your motivation is backwards, you can't win the fight. And once you're moving backwards, we've got trip hazards like this. I don't know. And then trip over. So your motivation should be to go forwards into the attack every time. In a police where all it would take is him clenching his fist and ready to punch for me to initiate attack. So the fact that we're kind of practicing here, we're practicing blocking. In actual fact, we either want to stay still, so as he's hitting, we're staying still, or we're moving to the side. Yeah. But what we're not doing is moving backwards. And, re and remember, forward is this is forward. So yeah. we talk about the baby just moving here, yeah? away away from the attack. Yeah. Yeah. It will come too close, yeah. So from the beginning, you will feel a bit more comfortable if you have the arms slightly use the reach of your arms, the length of your arms, yeah. So don't try to cover here because here you're starting to get in panic. It's too close, yeah. But this push out. Push out. Arms slightly, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good stand. On the back foot. So this lets me make the move. Not that just attacking over and over, but I'm, I'm forcing to work, you have to move. This is training too, yeah? So, this is not just I'm hitting over and over again, but there's no rhythm, yeah? I'm moving in different ways. I want to grab it. I want to do something to him. You have the cover with this one. So that's why I mean, I said, you just cover to minimize the damage. You cannot avoid to get hit, yeah? It might happen, yeah? So you just minimize that. Uh, and uh, this is the natural thing with, with the tunnel vision, yeah? Because when I talk with you, or when I look at you, I get the eye contact, yeah? Automatically, I get it, you got a tunnel vision, I got a tunnel vision, yeah? When I start to talk with you, to shout at you, I increase that. So it's even... That's f***, he's doing everything, this guy. Yeah. You have to shout. That is how you point, yeah? But this is like... I talk with Rob and Anna, I start to point and I even make the walls for him because not just that I'm angry in front of him but also I look at him and I point at him and I shout at him. So basically his attention is here. And this is like with firearms. You cannot at the same time have sides and see the attacker. You either see the silhouette of attacker or a bit just you maybe you see something of your gun, but you cannot focus on sides both uh, at the same time, both sides and the attacker. So this is the same here. Yeah. So Rob is just covering, and I want you to make to get a bit more uh, feeling from the confrontation that you start to play, yeah. That you will be a bit upset, a bit crazy. You start to. It's just a game, and we're just playing here, yeah? So... Something like that. Right? And this is just a game. So if you don't do it too fast because the goal is still that he has to learn, yeah? So this is not that you can show that oh I can hit you ten times. No, I can teach you, right? So you are basically coaching the other guy but, but showing him, come on, cover. You hit somebody twice to the ribs, then he's, he has to correct something. And the easiest way to correct that is to slow down your attack, okay? Show, and this is not this, because some people are doing this like this, like boxing. 
No, no, no. We won't be attacked from the street. We won't fucking rage. Yeah? Something like that. Not like... Not this. This is not street fighting. We want this. We want this, yeah? So, slow it down. You can still do it quite violently, yeah? He's covering and I... So I show him, he has time to understand where this attack starts. It's like, boom, right? And people saying that, oh, I will cover and counterattack at the same time. It's a bullshit. Yeah? This is not true. Because it has to do with our uh, human limitations. Physiology. Yeah? It's a physiology. Somebody surprisingly attack you, you have to first, what the f happens? That's the first thing. Uh, or you, you find out something happens, right? And then you have to find out what happens, and then you have to find out a solution to that. And it's even worse for the police officer, because you have to find out a good solution. So now, Stop! When we're doing this drill, uh, we tend to keep very static position with, with our arms, yeah? Because we know that the attack will come again. But this is not the stance that you always have just like that. You're moving your arms, you're talking with somebody. It's like you're playing, yeah? Calm down, move your hands up and down and things like that. So, so it's a moving stance, not just Come down, I'm a police officer. Yeah? Just, just trying to talk with people and trying to move. So you'll be very active because if it will be static, it's easy for the attacker to control that. If it's moving, it's disturbing him all the time. Yeah?